Hey class, it's uh, Professor Nick Sensky, and I uh, just have another video for you. Uh, I realized, you know, the last demo I gave you guys, I uh, left things really messy. And so uh, I want to begin to talk about how I might organize my script uh, so that I understand it and uh, so that other people might understand it, which is uh, what we've always tried to do with processing, right? Um, as much as we want our code to be clean, we also want uh, our scripts and Grasshopper to be clean. And so let's look at a couple techniques uh, for organizing things. Uh, inside of our inside of our grasshopper script, um, so you want to begin to think about things in terms of um, the way uh, the way that you want to use them. Okay, and so you know I have I might have my lines here. These are all these are all of, of like my datum lines. I might want them lined up or uh, put into some part of the sketch. I might want all my sliders to be in one you know row. I might want them to be near uh, the things that they reference. Uh, which makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, certainly everything, you know, should be named uh, so that it can be understood. And uh, that might be a good uh, first place to start. So let's go through and get our sliders um, named. So um, if we go all the way back, start turning some things off here. Turn off preview. So we've got our lines named. Um, this slider controls. Um, soffit distance, so we might uh, name this soffit line. This one controls max height. Then this one controls uh, window height. And then we can use uh, these tools to kind of distribute them, keep them a bit smoother. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be um, legible. Okay. Let's see here. Everything is there. And then you know um, these are our uh, lofts here. Something you can do uh, that can kind of help is uh, to add to add things into a um, a group. So if I collect all these lofts that I have. I can um, go into edit, group selection, and that's going to give me this kind of window. And then I can I, I can change the different the different types of it. I would keep it to this thing. Um, and then once you once you have that, you can start to these things start to take shape. So these are these are kind of grouped together. Um, this area over here. Let's turn on preview here. <clears throat> these are actually a soffit geometry, so I might actually group um, all these together. So I can, and one thing I can do is to kind of arrange them so that they look, you know, nice, uh, so that they make sense together. The other thing I can do is to try to group them into these kind of clusters. So here, I'm looking at, you know, my my windows. And the nice thing about groups too is if I if I if I choose the group, I can move the entire group around. And so that can be kind of um, useful as well. Let's kind of group these together. And see, so you can see if I move something out of the group, it uh, extends the group. <clears throat> so again, it's not just about being uh, tidy, which it is, <laughs> but it's also about uh, having these things uh, be readable. It's like that's it's a bit nicer. There's no particular good form for this. It's kind of up to your your limits. You know what you uh, what do you find to be nice? But I think the lines kind of get in the way, so it's it's important to know. You know what things are what. Okay, so those are pretty. Those are pretty good. Uh, and if we go over here, let's see. Uh, 
offset. Uh, this controls uh, column line. And actually, you could rename this as, as the column line as well. <clears throat> These are our columns. So I can move these together. <clears throat> and you can group these together. And let's see, these control a kind of louver system, which is still kind of awaiting some geometry. So this is the starting height. Spacing. Number. And this piece over here, let's call this in. You might call these louvers. Try spelling louvers right, but give that a go. And again, nothing is uh, particularly right or wrong. It's just there's things that are <clears throat> tidy and things that are uh, not tidy. And of course, everything goes to our <clears throat> our group at the end. And everything started uh, from this curve. Go ahead and group these all together. You can delete a group by clicking on the group thing and then pressing delete. <clears throat> and then you can um, go through and say group. Okay, and that's pretty good. And then uh, once we have that, you know, you could actually go through uh, and give yourself a few labels. And you can do that with a, with a panel component or you can do it with a, um, a scribble. And you could, you could change the font, you can change the size of it. And you could, you could say that, um, you know, These are <clears throat> window divisions. No. These components are a little weird. But fair enough. And then you can copy paste that. <clears throat> and um, you know, something like this. It's going to be your um, number lines. And then final geometry. And again, I probably need to go through and <clears throat> you know, finish naming these. So this is the um, let's say million dimensions. And uh, number of divisions. Yeah. Uh, millions. This is the well, call frequency. And you can go through and you can, if you actually, if you right click, you can change the color of these as well. So if you, if you have a particular color that you'd like to make this, to make it more, more or less legible for other people, you can do that. Uh, if you want to, don't do these, these are kind of gimmicky though. 
Um, mm. You could uh, actually call this this way. Although I don't, I don't find it as easy to read. It's easy to read when you're zoomed in to read that label like that. But uh, actually find it easier to um, make these scribble labels. So <clears throat> you could divide things by color uh, as well. Just don't get too carried away with that. But uh, you can see it's much more legible for us. And you know we could always go through and, and, and rename these final components here. We could call this um, you know, soffit interior. Soffit exterior. Again, whatever whatever helps you um, to understand your sketch better, your script. Okay. Some things are easier to understand than others, but and then you might want to do things like leave notes for yourself, so you could go into the special components and drop a panel and uh, say like. <clears throat> Make this component before adding materials and rendering in Rhino. So you might want to explain the logic of something to someone else using a panel component. Things that are not obvious, this is exactly how you use comments in processing. So you might say, I need a copy of it over here. I might zoom in over here, and I might say um, subtract the soffit dimension from max height, and uh, that would be helpful if I didn't know why that was there in order to get that dimension. And I might even, you know, I might go through and. Um, if these aren't if these aren't like verbose enough, and then you could certainly always go through and add a big comment here and just explain what the purpose of this is. So geometry. And distribution logic. And so it just gives someone a sense of <clears throat> of what this actually is. And you can you can align it uh, left. You can change the fonts and things, but <clears throat> might give someone a label uh, initially, and then you could always uh, change the color of it to, to actually to actually call it out, um, make that white or something, and that stands out. So then when I look at this now, I actually have more of a sense of what's actually happening. Um, in this piece, and um, that could really that could really help a person, and it could help you later on when you're trying to figure out what this does. Okay, so um, for your assignments, I really would like to see you guys uh, attempt to organize what you're doing, uh, not just for uh, me, but also for you, because I think that the process of doing this helps you understand uh, your scripts a little bit better. And um, you know, seeing it through uh, um, another person's eyes uh, can really help you with that. So, um, take a look at this, and hopefully, it'll help you understand uh, how to make your your grasshopper um, more legible. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Uh, until next time.